so now in this lecture series we shall learn much about the cable analysis so in the previous lectures i had already taught you about the basics of the cable analysis but it was a theoretical formula and how we can uh, do the analysis for a basic uh, mass tower with guy wires and how we can calculate a tension and what basically was the unstressed length um, you know like specification that we need to specify and what exactly was its importance now in this lecture i shall uh teach you uh, one more practical thing that uh, you know like is faced with a by a structural engineer that he wants to uh, design the uh, you know like lifting arrangement also so but uh, before we discuss much about the lifting arrangement i want to give uh, you a brief introduction of the lifting tools that we use on the construction site so first of all we shall start with the uh, basic uh, thing that is shackles and sling so these are called the d shackles so basically the purpose of d shackle is that they are basically fixed on the pad i arrangement and in the pad i they this uh, you know like th thing is uh, installed and then uh, the they are you know like supported from the sling arrangement that is these are called the slings and then they are uh, you know like anchored on the boom of the crane and then they are lifted so you might not be getting what i am saying here but uh, we will discuss eventually so right now you should understand that these are the shackles that we are talking about so for uh, you know like different shackles have different capacities depending on their design and thickness of uh, this uh, thing here and slings are also uh, you know like specified so Uh, the you know like the thing that I had learned when I was a site engineer that you shall not ever bend this uh, sling from this point here. This should always be uh, you know like lifted from either from this point or this point. So here, if we uh, you know like see the image clearly here. Here you will see that uh, the shackles are basically anchored to the slings here. and this part shall goes uh, you know like on the boom of the crane so that you can also google if you want that how basically uh, this is also common sense that there is a basically a thing like this that is hanging from the boom of the crane that is also called a pin sometimes so basically they are joined and then uh, the you know like anything that is required is lifted and and to close this lecture we shall learn that this is called the shackle and this is called the sling now we uh, learn move on to this uh, website here this is basically a german website that we are talking about so here you can see that this this is basically the lifting hook of the crane that is hanging from the boom and these are called the uh, uh, slings here and then uh, they are you know like either lifted from this point with the help of shackles so this is also a very uh, important thing that we are seeing here that is there is this one triangle here and the, from this triangle there is either this um, lifting beam it is called a lifting beam usually and from this lifting beam there are basically four slings that are lowering down and those four slings are basically fitted to this pad i with the help of shackles you should also learn what basically is a pad i and in the separate lecture we shall also learn how we can design this type of uh, pad i with the help of start software also so uh, right now they are basically you know like fixed to this uh, uh, the thing that we want to lift and then the shackle pin is uh, you know like installed onto this this is the pin that goes inside the eye of this pad and then the uh, you know like slings are installed on the top and then they are basically anchored to the uh, lifting hook of the crane so this is also a lifting beam arrangement that we are talking about this is called a lifting beam and uh, from the lifting beam you can see this shackles here and these are the slings and this is the pad i from which an another shackle is installed here so here you can see that they are basically the lifting the complete ship with the help of the lifting beam and the slings here here you can see that they are basically the lifting a nuclear reactor with the help of this lifting beam arrangement here again you, you can see these are basically the lifting beams so from the boom of the crane there are two sl slings that are installed and then from those two slings th there are another two slings that are basically lowered down and they are basically you know like this whole mass that we are talking about the below mass there is also an another beam so this is a very uh, safe arrangement that we can use on the side 
here also this is a uh, you know like a very good arrangement for lifting here also they are lifting a very tall arrangement so this is also a uh, you know like work of an experienced rigger also so the people or the person who work on the site who deals with all this lifting is called a rigger r i g g e r so this is also a very complex arrangement that uh, no college ever teaches these kinds type of concepts are only uh, learned on the site itself so if you think that you are a phd in structures uh, it doesn't mean that you can lift this type of arrangement on the site <laughs> i can bet upon that so after that uh, here you can see that they are basically uh, lifting this whole uh, truck here also with the help of this lifting beam here they are lifting this whole uh, offshore platform with the help of the this complete crane and this pipe that we are talking about so now basically in this lecture uh, you know like i shall uh, model this type of arrangement here that we are talking about that uh, or we can clearly see it in here here itself so basically the difference is that uh, here you can see that there is an another triangle of slings that is being formed here but here there is only a single uh, sling that is lower down so i shall model this type of arrangement itself so or you know like to make the things complicated what i will do is that i shall uh, teach you how we can model this type of arrangement so to start what we need to do here is that first of all we need to go to the start software and then we need to go to the editor file we are working in meters and kilonewton and make a, jo a joint at the origin itself here we need to basically enter the y here is uh, this minus 3 and z here is 1.8 and similarly we need to i uh, like copy this joint at z equal to minus 3.6 so now basically the thing is that first of all we have modeled this particular and uh, these two slings here so on the top uh, to make the things clear we shall make a pinned support on the top cause this point does not have any more taking capacity and now uh, add and from like from these two slings we ne do need an another hollow pipe arrangement here so this is nothing but uh, the lifting beam that is being installed here so we can assign the properties also to this uh, particular member we can go to the section database we can go to this uh, british here and then we can define a pipe so we can define a two approximately 200 mm pipe here so this is 193.7 od left click on add here so now we can assign the properties here and then after that we can model these slings also so the slings we can model it of let us say 30 mm and material should be steel here so now we can see that uh, we have modeled this arrangement here after that we do need to uh, you know like model this type of case here so what we need to do here is that we again need to lower down lower down this uh, joint here we need to go ahead with y mass minus 4 and z again sorry x again as 4 and then copy this joint at minus 8 so to check that whether we have these uh, nodes as equidistant yeah these are equidistant now again model the slings here and after that basically this distance is 3.6 so z we can enter it as minus 3.6 and after that we again uh, you know like need to model a 
mass that we are uh, lifting with the help of this arrangement here so obviously this uh, uh, length is more so but we can what we can do here is that we can assign the same slings here also and after that we do need to model the mass that we want to lift here and to make things much more e you know like interesting what we can do here is that we can assign a offset also so this is just a cantilever mass that is outside this uh, uh, you know like lifting arrangement and uh, we do need to do the same thing here also that is x at 2 meters and we need to make an another platform here so now I think uh, you know like the things are clear that what basically we are doing here we are basically trying to lift this mass here with the help of this lifting arrangement here so in the next lecture we shall uh, you know like move ahead to the to the load loading on this particular platform here and how we can analyze and and do the or check the forces in the cables so now in this lecture we shall complete this uh, first of all this uh, platform that we have modeled here so what we can do here is that we can model another beams here insert node add midpoint and then we can just model these beams here and then after that we can go to insert node n equal to 3 add n points geometry add beam by perpendicular intersection we can go to the specifications beam start mymz and then beam and mymz And then we can make it as a floor arrangement here we can uh, name a group control G one and floor associate and close we can go to the load and definition we can go to dead load command name it as DL first of all we need to enter the self weight to assess the correct weight of the structure assign to view after that we can go to the dead load flow load and group and here is minus 5 now uh, you know like this is just a load to assess how how you know like this cable will behave and then after that we have assigned the support also after that specifications are missing so we can go to the beam and here we need to select the cable and so we, select, we can select the initial tension as let us say 100 kn and then left click on add here and then after that we can select all these cables here and now the specifications are assigned and uh, properties are uh, still missing here so we can go to the section database we can select the uh, UB section here so we can select all the UBS as 254 Cube is nothing but a uniform beam. So now the properties are also assigned. Specification is also assigned. Supporting condition are also assigned. Loads are also designed. After that, we need to enter the analysis command. So here we need to enter perform cable analysis, and then we can select advanced cable analysis steps. We can enter it as uh, 150. Uh, equilibrium iterations we can enter it as uh, 150 and equation tolerance we can select it as 0 0.0005 and then left click on add here so the maximum number we can enter it here it is 145 and then we can go to the post pin to go ahead with this uh, cable sag option here so we can select all the cables here in our structure and then we can analyze this structure here so here it is again showing us the uh, you know like instability that we can ignore 
and here we can check the cable sags arrangement here and then we can go to the post processing here beam and graphs so here we can select the you know like see the tension here so in this particular cable the tension here is coming as 135 kilonewton and in this cable the tension is coming approximately 81 kilonewton so this was just a simple exercise that how we can calculate the you know, like tension among these cables with the help of this advanced cable analysis in the start software so i hope the things are now clear or you know like just another another, another example we can select this fx here we can go to the labels scales apply immediately so all these members are obviously in tension and all these members uh, or you know like the red color members are in compression here so this was just another example and if you want to check that what exactly should be the uh, capacity of the crane that uh, ba basically the load that is coming here we can go to the post processing and reactions so basically the uh, you know like uh, the tensile force here is coming out to approximately 23 231.59 kilonewton or, or approximately 23 ton so also in the lifting what we need to do here as an another aspect is that although live load is taken here which may not be coming but you know like uh, we can uh, you know like increase this uh, self weight factor by 50 percent because while lifting basically what happens is that uh, there are an excessive jab forces that are coming while when we are lifting so by doing this maybe some of the this 231 value will increase so here we can see that 231 now is now increased to 239 kilonewton so basically if we are uh, in like using 25 to 30 ton crane uh, 30 ton crane is comfortable for this type of arrangement here so minimum 30 to 40 ton crane is required for lifting uh, this uh, platform here and with the help of this particular arrangement so i hope the things are now clear that how you can you know like check the um, cable force or sling forces here how we can design the forces in the lifting beam and how we can assess the capacity of the crane that is required so you know like if you are not sure about anything or uh, if you are facing any problem then please feel free to ask uh, questions in the question and answer sections